All right. So the other thing I was, I'm actually a little interested in it. Um, uh, I don't know much of the series is uh fire emblem warriors. Uh, the only thing I'm really interested for is because it's supposedly played just like Hyrule Warriors. Yes, it's listed as a hack and slash. <laughs> yeah, and, and that that's kind of really it. Like, I'm really excited just for that because I actually like a lot of the Dynasty Warriors like games. Um, I own like the weird thing is the weird thing is this is the weirdest thing about me. I don't own a single Dynasty Warriors game, but I, I own a lot of the Dynasty Warriors like games. So I have Dynasty Warriors Gundam, One Piece Pirate Warriors 1, 2, and 3. I have Hyrule Warriors, Dragon Quest Heroes, which is Warriors. <laughs> I hope we get that's it. the weirdest thing about you. Not the weirdest, but one of the weirdest things. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I have all these Warriors games that's like Dynasty Warriors that's actually made by them, but I don't own an actual game that was called their main thing, Dynasty Warriors, anything like one, two, through eight, because I know there's eight of them now. So I don't own like any of those actual main ones. I own all their spin-off branded other ones, which is weird and funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Look okay, at that's weird, but yeah. Have you ever played uh any of them? That I just said, no. <laughs> not just, even. Just not, not, Warriors, yeah, I was about to say. Obviously. I was gonna say that one. At least you had to play at least that one. I'm thinking, but yeah, I did. I don't know. How'd you like that? Eh. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's okay for a little bit, but yeah. Did you beat the game at least? I think I did. You think you did? Huh. I I feel like I did. I I know I did, but I do not want to get the DLCs. That's something I don't want to do. And I know, yeah, and, I, I, and, no, I, and I know about the Pyro Warriors Legends one of 3DS. Same thing. I don't want. To get yeah, I, I had no interest in the 3DS. <laughs> I did not want to buy DLC. I just, <laughs> whatever. It was. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, for me, the biggest uh, next uh, ne- next announcements uh, from like Mario Odyssey and and Super Batman R, Super Batman R. That was it. Uh, Super Batman R. I can't even talk. Oh my God. Ah, uh, Super Bomberman R. Why is that so hard for me to say? Uh, like I said, I'm excited for that, Sir Batman R, but, um, wait, have you spoken about that? I totally forget. You've mentioned it, like, three times. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know if you want to say even more about yeah, it. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, well, I've been told that it's not a, not a, a remake or whatever of the Super Nintendo version called Super Bomberman. Apparently it's an actual new game just called Super Bomberman R. Uh, there are apparently just eight players for this one. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting because I know they announced in the presentation that you can have like what eight, or I think yeah, they said eight other switches that connect to each other locally. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's for that reason, or like they could just get six switches and then use all the Joy-Con controllers as eight players too, or something, or or whatever. I don't know how it really goes, but. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested in that, and it's the only biggest thing I'm really wanting to see how it turns out because uh, it's the first Barman game in a long time since Konami bought Hudson Soft, and that's the people that you know own Barman. So big interesting thing is just for that. Oh, I, they bought Hudson Soft. Yeah, Konami bought Hudson Soft back in 2012 or 13 or something. They actually purchased it. I yeah. thought Hudson Soft just closed down. No, they they actually purchased it, the whole thing. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that until like two oh. years ago when uh, I didn't know that until this very me. moment. Now I know who to bother to revive. Uh. 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 uh Natopia. Re- oh, Hudson's main debt. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so now I now I gotta go to Konami and go. You guys <laughs> own this franchise that you don't even know, so like revive it. Yeah, like that was a lot of people that was mad at Hudson because they bought uh, Konami bought Hudson and did nothing with them for like the longest time. That that was seriously it. They did nothing with them. Yeah, yeah. That 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 pissed me off a little bit too because I was a Bomberman fan and 
Yeah. <laughs> We're just say uh, I'm trying to get Bomb Ram two, the second attack, and that is really hard to get. It's a like it's a hundred fifty dollar game for the sixty four. Anyways, <laughs> the last thing I want to talk about today that I can think of is uh, Splatoon two. Uh, two. two Splatoon. Now I, every time somebody says Splatoon, I keep hearing Spittoon. Spittoon. Yeah. Splatoon. Spittoon. Splatoon. I don't. I don't know. How do you spell Spittoon? I don't hear that. That's what I hear. I always hear Spittoon. <laughs> okay, but yeah, Splatoon two. Um, so I knew this was gonna be talked about. I didn't know it'd be a sequel, or you know, I was hoping it was, of course. Uh, because we saw it in the 2016 reveal trailer for the Switch. Like, glances of it when, like, Nintendo's like, hey, look, this is the the, the pro gaming life or something. I don't know what the fuck they're showing, but uh, I knew it was going to be, like, a new one because it looked, they had different, like, styles and different uh, controller uh, to show off, of course, and I was like, yeah, it looks like a brand new game, but it could be all, for we know, a, a remastering of the first time, first one somehow. And I was very excited that they announced, you know, as a second game. Uh, of course, with the new guns, new plaza-like area, which is called the Square, and a bunch of other things. But the thing I'm kind of curious about is that I've heard that the new twin-like gun it can be used as, like, pointing with both Joy-Con controllers. So one could be, like, angled to the one side to the other. So I'm thinking, I was like, that could be kind of overpowering, but... Maybe not. I don't know. And I, I don't know if you're a Splatoon fan or played the first one. Have you? No, I have. No? I have not. Do you want to? Not really. Not really. Okay. <laughs> well, I I've let's played the first game, of course. I can say that now. The first game. Uh, I'm still doing a weekly, somewhat episodes of Splatoon, and uh, I wanted to do all 52 weeks to be like a year worth, but um. I have no idea if I'm going to do it before summer, because it says summer of 2017. It could be June, July, or May, or whatever. But I'm pretty excited for that. Like, like some of my Splatoon-only friends people that would just play that all the time, time, they're, like, tweeting me and texting me, like, Oh my god, do you know about Splatoon 2? I was like, yes, I saw it at the Splatoon presentation thing. And people are, like, just freaking going crazy with me that because they know that's like one of my favorite games of when it came out like what 2015 yeah 2015 did it come out no no 14 14 14 duh so i don't know very excited for that i don't i don't know if you were or not but very excited no. for that like that's all i played that year almost when splatoon came out it was just splatoon like every day every night morning even a splat fest, I was like, I participated in all of them except for like the first two because I couldn't. So I was pretty excited for it. <laughs> and then a uh, weird thing about me on that game was um, I didn't even play the story mode until I wanted to let's play it. And I'm like, you know, it's blind it. And then I did, which was weird because I played the game for two years and now I'm going to story mode. And it was just weird. Because like, oh, that's what this does. And, da, 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 da. and oh, that's the boss. It's kind of weird. Yeah, you usually expect it to play the story mode first before you go <laughs> online. Yeah, and even when I explain it, even when <laughs> even how I explain it like that, it sounds like oh, it's just a random Call of Duty player because that's all they do, just go online, not actually playing the story. You know. So yeah, that's kind of my biggest one I really wanted to get next is Super Batman R, uh, Breath of the Wild, which I don't know if I'm getting this for Wii U still or. Switch because mine's still pre-ordered, and uh, I don't know if I said Odyssey. Did I say Odyssey? Yeah, I think I said Super Mario Odyssey. But yeah, those are like the main four. I'm really focusing on the Switch 